uh, of the business because it's just so much fun. Once you, I know, make it in the business, it's the same friends and relationships you have. And that's the really big thing and fun thing about commercial real estate. It's all those friendships and relationships you build over time that it just gets fun and you keep building and growing your company. And that's what uh, we're trying to build at EXP Commercial. We built the company based on a platform of transactions, leasing, and business op. And this is a, a very exciting thing for 2023. We're starting to build the other services because we know as the market is changing right now, you have to build other services. Transactions will be down, leasing will be down, business opportunities will be down. But right now your clients need help about other services and what you can do from the capital markets, the asset facility management, valuations, and other corporate services like land development and ground up constructions or readaptive use as we're hearing it so much. But Bernard, you know about our virtual world. I mean, this is how we could do so many events, so many big events to really connect the world together. Absolutely, Jim. You know, our unique model is Verbella. We work in a avatar, metaverse type of environment. No more brick and mortars. We're remote. We're anytime. We're all the time, 24-7, seven days a week. You're able to connect with our brokers, our agents across um, the entire EXPI World Holdings, which means realty, which means residential, our 87,000 plus agents, and our old, close to 1,000 brokers on the commercial side. What a wonderful environment. Again, we started the metaverse a long time ago before now it's a big hit, but what an amazing business model. You know, what, Bernard, and I, what I love is, you know, we constantly train, you know, we know we have a great value prop, you're not making a lateral, but it's the training, the education from the new agent training, which is the big one, uh, because I know we were just talking uh, with our guests that's going to be coming up about the old school 50-50 splits, right, with the marketing, with the technology, uh, using Zoom or Google Meets or in our metaverse, there's so many ways to train, collaborate, mentor, teach, educate, coach uh, from the beginning of learning commercial real estate to getting people to help you within the different product types to really grow and build your business. And I know you've been teaching people social media. I mean, this is a, a new quiver uh, that you need to know. Everyone needs to know about social media because you know, you're doing the deals, you better promote it. What I love about this company, Jim, is a training, right? If you're not growing, you're dying. What I believe in, you know, EXP, it provides the best trainers in the world. We train on marketing, obviously. You know, we do a lot of lead generation and anything to help you grow your bro your business, your brokerage, we train on it. So you'll you'll get the best of the best trainers in our entire world. Jim, let's talk a little bit about the commercial academy. I love the academy, you know, because where I started at m and great place to learn and train. You know, a lot of it comes into understanding, you know, your product type, being a specialist. We know in certain markets, you got to be a generalist and do other, uh, you know, really transact in all different product types as a generalist. But it is important to learn the basics. I would say from the basics of how do you uh, build your farm? How do you understand your territory and your product type? How do you get mentored? How do you understand the capital markets, the finance, all of the parts uh, within commercial real estate to make you that expert, right? That go-to person within the marketplace is really what you need to do. And we have it here at EXP Commercial with so many mentors, educators, trainers, who are, I would just say, legends in the industry. They've been around for a very, very long time. And at this point in their career, they just really want to give back. They really want to teach the next generation. And I would just say many new agents into commercial real estate loves our metaverse, loves the way we teach and train, loves the way we use social media. So you could really build your commercial real estate business anywhere and everywhere as you get the expertise, get the knowledge, use your marketing and build. I mean, that is the creative way of, of how we can actually build this commercial real estate company, especially with the new agents joining us. And what's exciting, Jim, is we are actually taking the EXP Commercial Academy to the next level. Right now, it's in-person training on Zoom or it's on Verbella, but we're actually recording those trainings. We're making it available via mobile devices. You're now able to, we'll talk a little bit more on the, in the next slides, but you're able to now take our training online, you know, in, in on your mobile device and you can take it anywhere. So what a wonderful opportunity to learn uh, commercial real estate really fast and, and, and robust. Well, we have, we have an advisor program, Jim, this is, this is really exciting because obviously for experienced agents and, and mentors, this is our program. 
You know, and that's the great thing with the senior brokers coming in back into the industry, giving back their time, mentoring new agents that want to uh, really learn about the commercial real estate industry. And this is the fun thing. They don't always have to be there uh, with them. They can mentor, teach, educate, train their knowledge, their, especially their connections and relationships all around the country and in the world as we're one big company constantly expanding 87,000 agents. You know, it, it is really, truly amazing to have this many mentors all around the country. When you just put some information, I'd say we're the uh, uh, Google of uh, commercial real estate. You put something into our workplace, you know, you'll get the answer. Speaking of workplace, workplace is our platform, is from Meta, from Facebook, the creators of Facebook. It's imagine Facebook for business. You're able to connect instantly on your mobile device or on your desktop in a matter of seconds to our 87,000 plus agents and brokers nationally, internationally. What a great place for referrals. What a great place for masterminding. What a great place to build your entire business. And on, in, in a matter of seconds, you're able to connect and build your entire network. Remember, your net worth is your network, vice versa. So what a wonderful place. Again, this is Workplace by, by Meta. And you're able to use your mobile device to connect to colleagues across the globe. Love the international collaboration, you know, as one big company being corporate, not franchised in 24 different countries. It really is exciting to network and collaborate with relationships all around the world. I know I get calls about, you know, we're looking for properties in the U.S. from all around the world. You know, can you help us with different properties? You know, so the referrals globally now, especially with what's going on, there is so much more opportunities now of money moving around, everyone looking for that opportunity. But by being one big company, Bernard, it is it is truly amazing. What a great question, Jim. What did you pay your broker last year? We have a, a fantastic value prop here, A20 split. You cap at 20K, 250 for a monthly tech fee. And we'll talk a little bit about what software is provided on what platforms are provided in that. $250 broker review fee and 100 risk management fee. So cut your operating costs dramatically. Grow and your I brand. Love, <laughs> One of my favorite. This is you, here. Bernard. This <laughs> is you. <laughs> you know what I believe is, is, is the marketing is now, it is now on social media. That is a new battleground for marketing. Literally, you could, you know, back in the day, you would have to either buy television advertising, you would have to buy radio advertising or print advertising. Very expensive. It takes a long time to deploy and execute on those things. Right now, in a matter of your fingertips on social media, you can reach hundreds, thousands, if not millions of folks, your prospects, your customers, immediately on social media. We're going to train you on that. We're going to give you the best tools to deploy across LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, now TikTok and YouTube Shorts. There's so many channels out there, very difficult to keep up with. Guess what? We're going to train you on how to master those tools, and we're going to also train you on how to deploy them. So what a wonderful way to grow your business. We're gonna provide CRM, property listings, marketing automation. You're gonna have out the box solution to grow your brand. And Bernard, this is what I love. You know, we had to build the platform before we could build the services, but just with all our different strategic partners, you know, with our loan and our different title, our capital markets, our asset facility management, working with some fund administrator for our 1031 exchange, building our ESG platform. As you know, many of us remember when everything was green, right? You need to be lead in everything, but also now learning about ESG, the private equity, you know, the way the market's changing. Also with Casey Conway talking and getting our economic reports. It's really important nowadays to be educated, to educate your clients, to be one big company, to hear about all the different parts so you can put it together to really advise your clients to help them, you know, really get through this because we know many people have not gone through a recession or a slowdown in the market. Some of the, I would say old schools are people that have been around in the market. Uh, you know, we learn, we learn from how to get through these uh, difficult times. And it really is collaboration, cooperation, but also the right pricing model of a company to let you share deal flow and just creating more opportunities for everyone by being one big company. Equity opportunities. So advisors can become shareholders in EXPI, that's our stock, stock symbol. 
They receive 5% of every transaction commission with a stock at 10% discount. So you can earn shares on your first transaction when you fully cap. And when an agent sponsors you close, they your first transaction. So what a wonderful value prop. A little bit more information about the revenue share plan. Definitely talk to your sponsor about this. A lot of good information here. Jim, I'm, gonna, I'm sure you want to talk a little bit about this slide as well. Well, you know, and a lot of times, you know, by being a publicly traded company, uh, being corporate, uh, having a way to make other income, right? Passive income is always important. I say this is just gravy uh, for those that have been in the business and wanted to attract. All you have to do is like our next guest, just say that you're here. I remember when I just said I was here, I literally had 20 people reach out to me asking me more about the company, what the vision was, what, you know, did I plan to do uh, coming over here? And that's really all it is, is to share, share the company, because this is really in the commercial real estate wor world unheard of, is to build other uh, resources, res um, other types of in passive income, where before we would always say, oh, one day I'll be a principal, right? But there's liability and risk always to be a principal when you own all these buildings, especially during the last recession. So, you know, having another stream of passive income is always a great thing. And I always consider this a retirement plan and gravy in addition to all the benefits of EXP commercial and EXP realty. Multiple streams of income, that's great. Jim, talk a little about the no territory limitations. Yeah, so in commercial real estate, we like to co-list, but also many of us do deals across uh, state lines. And because there's portability, except for the turf states, and we always say, talk to your state brokers first, talk to the broker of the state to get clear indication of what that state is. There's a couple of turf states that you need to clo close and work with a local asset, but being one big company, being a one big corporate company, publicly traded, I mean, there gives us a lot of competitive advantages to work across state lines, but I always say you talk to the state broker, you talk to the, uh, the broker of the state of the property and you get the clear idea, but being one big company is so important with portability. Agent healthcare, we always say health as well, right? So definitely take a look at expagenthealthcare.com. We provide family coverage is available. 90% of doctors and specials are in network, transparent pricing and some quotes, what a wonderful, again, benefit for being part of EXP Commercial is you get access to unbelievable healthcare. So expagenthealthcare.com. All right, we have an exclusive um, offer for our EXP agents. If you wanna open up your, if you are an EXP agent or broker, there's a QR code on the bottom right. You get our commercial real estate training. It's a hundred plus videos, a hundred plus workbooks, is provided by not only Lipsy, but also our internal um, master of commercial real estate, Clifford Borgart. What an amazing training, this exclusive offer for our EXP agents. We have a couple of events coming up, Jim, we're really excited about. Um, April 4th, intro to commercial real estate. The last one just passed. Um, if you missed it, we have a recording on YouTube, but don't miss the next one. We had amazing reviews on uh, definitely want to welcome back. There's a there's a QR code on the right, so make sure that you go ahead and sign up for it. I'm going to fly through these slides in because we want to bring up Tom soon. So we had the Commercial Real Estate Symposium, April 25th to the 26th. What a wonderful place to be. We're going to be in our metaverse. We're going to show you all the way from our trade groups. We're going to have amazing speakers, our chief economists. We're going to have EXP leadership there. This is not one to miss. Jim, a few words on this one. You know, it all started with trying to educate agents, uh, new agents and senior agents, but now we kind of separated out is a time that we do this biannually to really share and let people know what's going on, right? A lot of times you get economic reports, which we are doing with Casey Conway, but what's going on with technology, what's going on in the capital markets, what's going on with the readaptive use, land development, uh, public-private partnerships. It is a time where we hear all of the things with our 87,000 agents and being at all the different trade groups and we condense it, right? Reaching out to those speakers if they would like to speak in our metaverse, many of them would love to do it, especially since they don't have to travel. And we bring all these experts from everywhere around the world to bring their fresh ideas to share it with everyone in our metaverse. So Bernard, I always say, you know, sign up for it. It's worth going. And as we put the agenda out, you know, you can show up for the topics that you really want to hear about. And here comes May 17th to the 20th, EXP Shareholder Summit 
2023. This is this is the big event. Glenn is back as CEO in the CEO role. This is his event. This is our celebration for EXP agents and brokers to get together, to learn from one another, to network, to grow your business. We're going to have outside speakers coming in, celebrity speakers. We're going to have our top producers there, both on the residential and commercial side. So make sure that you register today. You don't have to be a shareholder of, of EXP to even join the event. So make sure that you're there and we'll be there. And lastly, definitely follow us on LinkedIn. If you're a commercial real estate broker or are interested in commercial real estate, there are 250, last time I checked, Jim, there was 250,000 commercial real estate brokers on LinkedIn, both nationally and internationally. So imagine this, what a great way to connect to one another very quickly. Um, there's a QR code, it'll lead you to our EXP commercial LinkedIn. You know what, I'm really excited to introduce our next guest, you know, Tom Palumbo. And uh, I know his son's here, but the great thing is, you know, like with all senior, especially people who've been in the business, they do a lot of due diligence. They look at the company very carefully before uh, they come over or even move. And that's the great thing of, uh, of what we're building is this traction of great experienced commercial brokers, entrepreneurs, developers. I mean, you, you name it, Tom has done it all. Tom, welcome to our ESP commercial family. Uh, love for you to say a couple words to everyone uh, and introduce yourself. Sure, thanks, Jim. Thanks, Bernard. Uh, thanks for uh, having me on this morning. I really appreciate it. It's an honor to be here, uh, candidly. Uh, I'll just share with you uh, just personal, some personal background and then some of my business background and then why the reasons that I uh, joined uh, EXP Commercial. Uh, I live in New Jersey. I lived down at the Jersey Shore. I've uh, been married uh, 37 years. Uh, my wife and I, we've been together 42 years. We have three amazing children. Yeah, I know. It's great. It's great. Uh, all, per all perfect, by the way, no, no issues along, you know, so, uh, perfect. Uh, we have three great children, uh, two grandchildren, our oldest son, Matthew's out in uh, Los Angeles. He's been with EXP commercial for about a year. So he's been kind of talking to me about EXP commercial over the course of a year. Uh, for me, the timing wasn't right, but, uh, you know, recently I made the decision and moved over to EXP commercial. So my, um, my background is I've been in the real estate business about 40 years. So like I mentioned before, I think I'm in the master's uh, in the master's division. Uh, but what I started at on the corporate side at working for uh, regional and then national home building companies. So I ran sales. I would, uh, you know, a home builder would buy attractive land, put the improvements in, build model homes, and then I would sell homes, uh, you know, for sold many different communities, uh, many hundreds of homes, and did that for the first part of my career. Really enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, working with people, probably dealt with thousands of people over the course of you know, many years and sold, uh, like I said, many hundreds of homes. So I transitioned into land acquisition after that, uh, working for regional and then national home building companies buying land. So I was the land guy. I went out there and sourced land uh, my territory, for the most part, was New Jersey, Lower Orange, Rockland, Westchester County, New York, out to Lehigh Valley, PA, and then the Philadelphia submarket. Looking for ground up uh, development and then redevelopment. Uh, really enjoyed it. I really love the art of finding a deal. And what that is, just networking, knocking on doors, and you know, just finding out what's going on. I mentioned before, I started my business and grew my business by knocking on doors of municipalities. It's a great way to generate business. You talk to the town planners, town engineers, business administrators, the mayors, find out what's going on, find out what they're looking to redevelop, you know, develop, redevelop a wealth of opportunity for the new agent. I'd be more than happy to talk about that at a training seminar to, you know, to explain what I did and how I built my business. Uh, so I did that for a good part of my career, and then I retired from the corporate side, and I transitioned into commercial real estate about seven years ago. I didn't want to go with one of the big corporate guys. You know, I knew the JLL guys, the Cushman guys, great companies, but I didn't want to do that. I went with a, a large private uh, commercial brokerage in New Jersey, and it worked great. I was there about seven years uh, did a lot of self-storage. You know, we brokered a lot of self-storage uh, in state and out of state. You know, it was nice. What I what I enjoy about commercial real estate is uh, now with EXP Commercial, you really go to any state. I did a lot of deals or deals in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, uh, 
you know, Pennsylvania down south. So we did a lot of, you know, a lot of business outside of uh, New Jersey. Uh, and I did a lot of land. So we did a lot of land for uh, industrial development, retail development, self-storage, and still involved in a lot of land deals. And, you know, uh, I'm a principal in land deals. We just closed uh, on a site down in South Jersey. And then we have uh, two sites. That's going to be for industrial development. And then we have two sites where we're going to have go in for truck parking. So the opportunity, I think, is is phenomenal. And look, by and along the way in commercial development, uh, I'm sorry, in commercial real estate, I also I have a relationship with a regional bank. Uh, I sold 40 of their condos that they took back. So, you know, you could do in, in this business, I'm kind of I like to keep it kind of open. I've broken industrial buildings, hotels. Um, it's just really I keep it. I keep it open. So, you know, what I found is that a lot of owners of industrial properties own other properties and they know people that own property. So once you get in and, and an owner of a property feels comfortable with you, you could just network through that individual and grow your business. Uh, so, so it's a phenomenal, I love this business. I wish I had gotten involved in this business, you know, 20 years ago, 25, 30 years ago when I was in my mid thirties. Uh, but why EXP? So I, I mentioned this before. I think the day of the 50-50 broker split, the 60-40, the 70-30, I think EXP commercial is going to disrupt that. I really do. Um, and I think it's a good thing. I think you have a lot of top brokers that are, you know, giving away a lot of money. Let's, let's you know, candidly. Uh, but I think EXP, I mentioned before, one, because my son Matthew is involved in the business. I get to work with him. I'm thrilled about that. The other piece to that is, and I mentioned it before, is that Jim was incredibly responsive to me, to my emails, to phone calls. And I'm thinking, here's here's an individual that's growing a, a company that's exploding. It's a public company, and he has the time to respond to me in a timely manner. I felt, to me, that was very important, and that was a big part of this as well. But then this split, the 80-20 split, and then 100%, it's amazing. That's that's phenomenal. If you think about the numbers there, that in itself is a tremendous opportunity. Uh, the revenue share for residual income and retirement income, it's a tremendous bonus, the stock program. just And then all the back office tools that the company offers. You know, I'm, I'm working on two listings right now. And uh, our local broker, Jeffrey Kiss here in New Jersey, designated broker, was he's been great helping me out. But everything's right there. So, you know, I fill out the forms and, you know, I don't have to go running all over. The, everything is right there in my back office. So it's phenomenal. I mean, I, I just love I'm on I'm on the road a lot. I'm in the field a lot. You know, I like that inner you know face to face. Uh, but here, the back office, I have everything that I need here, which is phenomenal. So. I'm excited to be here. I'm really, uh, I'm just getting going with all the back office tools. I have my wife helping me. I'm not a social media guy. My wife just changed my LinkedIn. So I'm getting calls from people that I know in the business. Hey, I hear, you know, and I, and it's interesting because a lot of people have looked into EXP, have heard of EXP. And now it's like, hey, wait, Tom, you're an EXP. What's going on? You've been out there for a long time. Uh, so it's it's exciting. You're starting. You know, we talked about this. Is that you know the I think the residential kind of maybe hit critical mass, and you're continuing to explode with the res on the residential side. I think we're very early on the commercial side, and I think the word's going to get out, and it's starting to get out. And I think once you hit that critical mass, it's just going to explode. It's so. I think the timing is perfect. Uh, I think the opportunity is amazing, and I'm really excited to. To, to be a part of this story and hopefully help to grow the story and, you know, work with Jim and, and the team. Well, Bernard, I know you can help uh, with Tom. And that's the biggest thing is I'm like Tom, I was door knocking, cold calling. That's how I got my leads. If you're in the office, you're not making money. You got to be in the streets all the time. And Bernard now with social media, I mean, how can you help Tom really from his background, his pedigree, his, his relationships, right, to promote it and share it, because then almost now people that didn't know will come to you, Tom. So, Bernard, what do you think you could do to help Tom? Tom, know? we're going to make you a social media rock star. That's what's going to happen. All right. <laughs> that makes me well, nervous. That makes me nervous. Well, Tom, you know, <laughs> what, what really fascinating about your story is the door knocking, the network building. There's a common theme and thread that you're mentioning 
And, and, and I don't come from a commercial real estate industry. I came from Microsoft. I come from technology. But from what I'm hearing from your story, it's all about relationship building. For, you know, for those who are on the call, for those who are going to be listening on video, for the new brokers or for the new people that are interested in commercial real estate, what is some advice to build those networks, to build your relationships as you did in a fat, very short manner? So I think that, you know, uh, what I found is that um, if people like you, you know, you're going to knock on doors and it's that new. If people like you and they feel comfortable with you and then you gain their trust and then you act I like to work. I don't, you know, every, you, you know, we we're in business to make money, but I, what I've done is, and I've learned that you got to put the money piece to, this, to the side and you got to think about how can I really help this individual out to achieve their goals. And I think if you focus on them and work with them and spend the time with them, you know, you, the referral from there, you can grow your business. You know, I, I'm working with people that I met 20 years ago. And I've continued that relationship and you get pieces of referrals here and there. Like I said, people that own commercial real estate, they typically own other commercial assets and they know other people that own assets. So I think that's the first thing is that get to know people, get to go in there, get to know, you know, and you are, I, look, I, I, I think there are not enough commercial brokers to service all the commercial properties in this country and in any market. I don't care, you know, Los Angeles, I know is very tight, New York, New Jersey. You could put a thousand bro commercial brokers in a market and there's still opportunity. So I think I think that it's the relationship. Uh, and I think, you know, the other thing too, you got to keep in mind is this, we're in business for ourselves. We're independent contractors. It's the discipline of, you got to put a program together. You know, you're, you know, we're all used to a job, you know, you know, maybe coming from a job, you work nine to five, you get a paycheck here. You got to work longer hours and it's a delayed gratification. So you got to keep that in mind. But I think um, it's getting to numbers too. You got to talk to lots of people. You have to talk to lots of people every day. And then you got to, once you talk to lots of people every day, you'll get a feel for, am I calling the right people? And then it's quality numbers. And then you don't have, you know, then it's working. You got to, you got to start wide, calling a lot of people, meeting people. Like I said, I'm more of a face-to-face. -face. I like to call me, call me. And then you keep meeting, keep that conversation. They feel comfortable with you. And then, you know, you got to be, every, every property is going to sell at some point. So your goal is to be in front of that seller when they're ready. And whether that's today, tomorrow, three years, five years, seven, 10 years, you know, I just, uh, I, I, uh, I called on a property owner three years ago, two years ago, and uh, he was retiring. He built three industrial buildings, 155,000 square feet. Uh, and so I asked him, I said, are you selling? He goes, I'm ready to sell. So I met with him. Anyway, long story short, the timing was right. Brokers have been calling him for years and I caught him at the right time, met with him. He felt comfortable. We had a great relationship. He was a handshake type of guy. I found the buyer and we did, you know, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 million dollar deal, whatever it was with, with, you know, we closed it and I think it was 60 or 90 days, but I caught him at the right time. So that's the key is to continue to stay on top, of, you know, talk to people, work with people, and eventually pe properties are going to move. The other thing too is uh, if you drive down any highway, You'll see medical buildings, you'll see fast food, you'll see gas stations, you'll see hotels, you'll see land, you'll see this office, medical office. You can knock on any door on any highway and you're going to find opportunity. If you just, you know, I think the opportunity is just phenomenal. And I think that's a good way for people to start, you know, for the new for the new uh, folks is to just start knocking on doors, you know. I and love he, it. That's, 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 the, that's the old that's the old school is not you know, get in and, and knock on doors. But uh, I think it's I think it's a good way to do business too. And maybe it's well, I think, go ahead. No, I think you know that building the trust, building the relationship, like you mentioned, is a numbers game. Staying top of mind. You couple that with social media, where you're always top of mind because you know it's easy to post and, mm -hmm. and make that message out there. And I think what you said was beautiful. Find the opportunity. People think that even in a down economy, you know, and people are heads down and. No, you have to find the opportunity. You have to grab the opportunity. And, and I think one thing that you you had said is you're helping others. You know, the late Zig Ziglar said, you'll get everything you want in life if you help enough people get what they want. So I think that, what a beautiful 
way to put that into a nice ribbon. Sure, thank you. And Tom, you know, this is the exciting thing. With all that you're hearing from Matthew to now you're seeing and, and culture, right? I love to build culture. Culture is so important because that holds you through good times, especially the bad times. You need culture and friendships and these relationships because we know this brokerage business, commercial brokerage is hard. And especially with the market coming down where people used to make hundreds of thousands or sometimes millions of dollars and now their, their numbers are let's say 50%, right? People are scared. And what do you see with this new technology, this new platform? Because you've been around, you understand this very well and you studied everything. What makes us so competitive and what are you looking into your crystal ball as much as you can, see what is this future for EXP commercial and for you and your team that you're going to build? So uh, I, I, I think... And, and again, the, the technology aspect of it, the social media, the marketing, all that, I really need to get my arms around. And I really see the value there. And I think what you know, Bernard had mentioned, just a couple of that with on the ground, I think for me, you know, growing my social media, I think it's going to be phenomenal, you know, and I'd be more than happy to be that social media, you know, work with you guys on the social media end of it. But I, th I think, look, going, there's opportunity in every market. Uh, I think I, there's no reason to be afraid. There's no reason to, now's a great opportunity. You have to look at and be uh, open, open-minded and positive and look at this, that look, a lot of people that co own commercial assets, maybe, you know, it may be a challenging time, but they need the service of a quality commercial real estate broker. They need us, whether they realize it or not. So I think getting in front of those people you're you're a solution to their their maybe problem right now. Uh, so, and I think with with the EXP team and everyone working together, look, I, I'm available for phone calls. My expertise is in land, and I've done a lot of self storage and stuff. So, I think using the re using your resources with with EXP Commercial with with the talent that EXP Commercial has, anyone knocking on doors that has someone that needs help, be more than happy to do a call, Zoom call, whatever to help folks out to help them grow their business. So I think, again, with the mindset going in today's climate for the next, you know, who knows how long is that we are a solution to owners of real estate assets. Or can be the solution to helping them sell their real estate assets. Um, I, I love that. And one final word, because you've been around a couple of market cycles that were tough. What advice would you give to those that this could be their first recession? This could be their first down cycle because the last one, right, 2007, 2009, that's a bit of ways, right? That's kind of far. What would you share and advise the new agents or agents that have not gone through this kind of cycle before? Okay, so I think I think you got to refocus. Like, you know, you have to, for me, I'm going to pivot. Like, as, as an example, I've done a lot of land and we've looked at a lot of land and I'm going to pivot into stabilized assets, maybe looking at apartments, uh, looking at industrial buildings, maybe to broker. You know, I was always on the sale end and maybe, you know, uh, I've done some leasing, but I was more on the sale end. So I don't know, maybe there's an opportunity in leasing. Uh, I think I think the key is to really figure out what asset type or where do you want to be? Where I mean, maybe set some goals. You know, how much time are you going to allocate during the day of making phone calls or working social media or going out into the field, knocking on doors? By the way, a, a great way to is, uh, you know, for sale by owner, you know, for lease by owner. You know, all these uh, owners that have, uh, whether you, you you drive a market and you see a, an old sign or you see a sign or you go on Reonomy or whatever uh, tool that you're using, for lease and for sale by owner is a great, especially in today's climate. Uh, is to call on them and meet with them or talk to them and bring and, you know uh, bring one of your partners in and talk to them. So I think doing that and I, I think really drilling down and you have to be efficient with your time. And the other thing is too, a big part of our business, it is a tough business. It's a tough business is that don't take the nose personally. Uh, understand that uh, rejection is a part of this this business, it's part of the numbers game. And if you lose, if you're not losing deals, you're not doing the business. Keep that in mind. I I, I should I shouldn't share this, but I'm gonna share I, maybe I should. I lost a big deal this year. I mean it was a big deal. I closed a big deal last year, but I I lost a big deal. Uh but I 
I'm immune to it now. So I know it would be devastating, to, but I'm immune to it because I understand that that's the business. But I've got 20 or 30 other deals that I'm working on. So that's the key is the numbers translate into transact listings and transactions. So you don't have to rely on one deal. Now, if you if you if you prime your pipeline of opportunity and you now have five or seven or 10 or 20 or 30 deals, if you lose one or two, it's okay. So that's that's the whole key of the numbers philosophy. The you know, it translates into deals and opportunity or opportunities, I should say, and those opportunities translate into deals and transactions. So well, don't, Tom, be don't don't be discouraged. Look, this is don't be discouraged. You'll you'll it's a it's a part of the business. It's not you, it's a part of the business. Tom, wise words, and it's always important, you know, to work, collaborate. We lose deals. And I remember, you know, when I was at MM, last minute, 11th hour, it's like the deal blows up, but then you know, you you get a drink, you hang out with your buddies, and then the funny thing is a buyer comes back out of nowhere. Okay, I'm ready to buy it again. So you're right. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So I my my thing is I tell people just keep going. You got to keep going and keep going. Just just you got to keep going. That's life, right? We have to keep going. So uh what I see is a phenomenal opportunity in commercial real estate. I see a phenomenal, I mean, a phenomenal opportunity with EXP commercial. And I don't think you, this is one of those, in my opinion, one of those opportunities of a lifetime. You know, I've been around long enough. I've seen a lot of different things. You know, did you buy Amazon when it was 10 bucks? Did you buy Bitcoin when it was you know, floating around 10 bucks or hundred bucks? This is one of those, I believe one of those opportunities, and now it's AI and, you know, chat GPT, but now this is, Look, EXP commercial, I think it's going to disrupt, EXP is going to disrupt the real estate industry. I do, I do believe that. So I think it's a phenomenal opportunity. Tom, well, we're really happy. Bernard, our whole EXP commercial family, our whole EXPI, we're so happy that you're here because we all know it's brick by brick, piece by piece. And then one day you wake up and you're an overnight success. We all know that. We've all heard it before, but it's doing the grind. It's working together. It's collaborating. The culture that I said, working as a family, as a team, we're going to have good times and bad times. But the thing is, if you're sharing money with friends and people you actually like, that's the best. So we want to just uh, say thank you for joining us with EXP Commercial Explain. Tom, thank you and uh, welcome to our family. And we're uh, looking to a lot of collaboration and having you train and teach. And thank you for everyone. If you want to learn more, please reach out who invited you to EXP Commercial Explain or set a time with any of our teammates so you can learn more about this phenomenal company. It is like joining Realty, how phenomenal it grew four or five years ago. So the rocket ship is blasting off or ready to take off as Tom can see it.